What's going on everybody? Coach Gamble back with another installment of our memory verse. Uh, this particular verse is for 10th and 11th grade this week. Ephesians uh, chapter 6 verse 17. I'll read it from the New King James Version. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Now let's just break this down real quick. Uh, the scripture starts off saying, and take. Um, and so this is a little different because it doesn't say put on, but take, meaning receive the salvation of the Lord. And that's the first thing we got to talk about uh, when we come down to young people, is that we receive what God has for us. And His plan of salvation, His love, His grace, His forgiveness, we got to open our hearts and we have to receive that. All right, then the next thing it says, once you've taken that and you've received the salvation of the Lord, it says put on the helmet of salvation. The helmets are meant to protect the head and or the brain, which is uh, an important aspect of who we are. And so uh, this is where you must protect the salvation and your relationship with God. Like you've got to protect it, all right? Protect that salvation and protect that walk with God. You've got to do that. And how do you do that? Well, you do it with the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. You see, the writer kind of breaks it down and steps with us. Now, the sword of the Spirit is our offensive weapon. Now, the helmet is for protection, but not to kind of do battle with. The sword, which is the Word of God, is our offensive weapon. The Bible tells us that the Word of God is sharper than, two, than any two-edged sword. So, the truth of God found in his word is what sets us free and keeps us free so it's important that you as a believer know the word of god that you read the bible study the bible this is why we have bible studies this is why we have devotionals this is why you have a bible class at a christian school because it's important for you to know the word of god because you got to protect it in your heart you got to protect that relationship with god so you don't buy into false doctrine as you live in this life it's a pretty simple text, but very important for you to understand, okay? As always, you got to memorize the verse, you have to quote it, you have to explain the verse, and then explain how you apply this verse to your life, all right? Look forward to talking to you soon. Love you guys so much. Bye-bye.